type in my password. Yes, whatever. Okay, great. So now I basically signed in because I wanted to show you the search function right here. So what I can do from here, what I usually do is I want to contact them directly, the recruiters. So what I do is I type in a company that I want to interview with. Let's say that. Let's try this here. Okay, so here's another recruiter, and you see how I wanted that email. So that's what I basically did. I just typed in at Microsoft.com recruiter. Let's see what happens if I just type in recruiter. So this looks like it's for toplinkedin.com, toplink.com. I usually just scroll down and I see there's any companies that I'm interested in okay so I mean here's an example of of someone who's a Google recruiter and what I wanted to show you here is this you see where it says send in in mail free so what you can actually do is that if that button is there um, and they don't give their email address, you can actually send them an in-mail. That means that their uh, Google has actually paid for LinkedIn.com for the professional version, and which allows them to receive messages. So you can actually send this person an email. Alright, so I'm back, and so we see the thing again, send in mail free, and I can... So I click send in mail free, and as you can see, um, my contact information is there, and I can add a phone number if I like, and I'm contacting this recruiter directly. So you can see John Doe, that's not my name, my name's Ian. So, uh, category, subject, and you can send your message. And um, what I usually like to do when I send LinkedIn emails is I say, um, I'd say, hey, uh, Yancey, I'm interested in this position or I'm, I'm passionate about this position and um, I'd like to send you my resume and my cover letter for it. Can you please send me your email address if his email address was not listed in the profile? Um, I say that. S and um, usually what they say is, yeah, um, great, you know, I'm happy that you're interested in it. Here's my email address. Please email me your resume and I'll send it to the right person. And so you can do that and it's, and it's great because you're talking to someone that's actually in the company. So I'm going to show you the other functions here that uh, they might look at it or people look at. So I clicked on the profile. And again, remember how I said you should fill everything as much as possible. So it says current, past, education, have you been recommended? So what people can do is if you've worked somewhere, um, it's, it's almost like a, a Facebook for professional people. Um, if you worked somewhere and they like your work, you can ask them and say, hey, would you recommend me on LinkedIn? And that looks really good. They'll give you they'll recommend you and they'll give like a summary of what you did and they'll say hey you know uh, John was great at this activity and he helped us out a lot in this project I give him a thumbs up and that you'll have a thumbs up there so we'll say like uh, your current company and he's uh, John's been recommended four times by this person and will show your connections so you can add your past co-workers your past bosses um, you of course you can edit the industry whatever whatever it was banking uh, marketing sales 
And so you can add a summary of um, what you're passionate about, what you want to do at a company. So maybe take some of the things from your cover letter that you apply with and put them in the summary, like the the biggest things, like these are my goals, these are what I want to achieve, I like marketing because I did this, this is what I did in my, this is a summary of my past experiences. And of course you can add your experience from your resume, um, copy paste it. You can add your education here, you can add get recommended, and here's where you can request a recommendation. So again, if you find your boss on LinkedIn and he has his own profile, and you did well at the company, you can actually say to your boss, hey, would you uh, you know, write me a short little bit, like three or four sentences about what I did and why you liked me? And they'll usually say yes. Additional information here and your contact settings. And so yeah, um, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to the PowerPoint again. So welcome back, stay tuned for the next one. Uh, keep an eye on your inbox because we're gonna I'm gonna be sending you a lot more uh, valuable video trainings like this and uh, shoot me a comment on this blog uh, it's at impressyourinterviewers.com if you're watching this on YouTube and if you're watching this on my blog just click the the comments button and submit your own comment tell me what you think about it tell me where you are uh, I really want to hear from you, and I, I'd really like your feedback on uh, upcoming trainings and what you'd like to see. So this is my blog right here. If you guys are not on my email list already, I definitely recommend you go to impressyourinterviewers.com. That's impressyourinterviewers.com. There's going to be a link in the description section if you're watching this on YouTube. Otherwise, if you're already on my blog and you're not on my list, um, I definitely would want you to sign up right here. So for it, I'm going to be sending you a lot more valuable free video trainings like this one. And I'd love you to be notified in your inbox when I do that. So just type in your name and email address right here and click the free instant access button. And a lot of people have been asking me if uh, when I'm going to have the Impress Your Interviewers training. And that definitely is coming up, and I'll keep you posted. Thank you very much for your time. Again, this is Ian Iacocca from ImpressYourInterviewers.com. Thank you.